Just first of all, come from you know Mount St. Mary's and everything. What what brought you to UGA? I mean, you know, when I first stepped on the campus and met you know Coach White and all the coaches, you know, I kind of instantly fell in love with the place. You know, I ain't really have too many, you know, like um, I had too many like what's it called? What's the word I'm looking for? Like complaints. Mm -hmm. I ain't have complaints about it. You know, real family environment. You know, that's what I really. Like look for the most when I find a new place. And from all indications, you've had a pretty strong summer. I mean, it hasn't really taken you long to really get acclimated. That's something you just, uh, you know, you're a little bit of an older, older guy. Just your past experience has kind of helped you do that. Just how, what have you done this summer to kind of try to build yourself up for the season? I mean, you know, last season, you know, I kind of, you know, like slacked off a little bit. You know, this year I'm trying to like every day, you know, coming in with 110% effort, you know, attitude, helping every, every guy. You know, miss shots, make shots, you know, still encouraging everybody, you know. And for me, you know, my biggest thing is like the weight room, getting a couple more pounds on my body. So, you know, that's where I really. How much bigger have you gotten since you've been here? I say like 10 pounds of muscle. How about when I, so, when yeah. I first got here, I was around 185. Yeah. Now I'm like 196, 197. So, you know, following Coach Green, you know, <laughs> put me in the right direction. How's it feel playing at that, that kind of way? It feels yeah. great. You know, I can't like really tell like my explosiveness and stuff, but like people bumping me and stuff, like I don't really get knocked off track like I used to. So, you like, bump back now, huh? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Saying you were the first of the portal guys to commit to Georgia. What was sort of the vision you know, that was sold to you? And then you said, I don't know what you're You know, the, the blueprint, you know, Coach White had out for me, Coach EP, you know, like, like I liked what I saw, you know, like coming in, being myself, you know, bring what I have to the table, to the team, you know, just try to make the women a program. What would imagine you played a big part in getting Dakota here as well. Just what was your message to him once you had already committed to? to you know, follow you here. I mean, you know, when I committed and I seen Georgia like it's top three, top five, I forgot what it was, but you know, he lived right down the hall from me at the time, so I was like, why not? You know, let's do it again. How much does it help having a former teammate come with you? I mean, that, you know, you've got at least one familiar face as you can yeah, it, it feels good, you know, coming in here. At least, like, I know somebody. Not, I'm not I'm coming here as a stranger. But after, I ain't gonna lie, after like the first couple of days, nobody was a stranger on the team to me. Like everybody, you know, we all became brothers, friends at the end of the day real quick. So that was something like, you know, I like about the team. Well, to, to somebody that hasn't watched Dakota's game as much, just what would you say, uh, you know, his skill set is? If you wanna see a bucket, just watch him play. You know, I think he score at all three levels, you know, real good layups to mid-range to threes, you know, he's really an underrated passer as well too, you know, his scoring overrides the passing side, but he's a really good, excited player to watch. What do you remember about playing here and going up against Georgia? Say it again. Uh, what do you remember about playing against Georgia this past season? Uh, I remember, you know, atmosphere being, you know, lit, you know, just my team, we was low-key down, but just, I just kept like, about the end goal, like trying to win the game and stuff. So like, just bring up all the energy. I remember dunking on the rims, stuff like that. <laughs> Did that help at all? I mean, when you were looking at Georgia, saying, you know, "Hey, I played, I played here," I, I kind of. Yes, sir. Yeah, it did. You know, because the environment that we had, being a non-conference game, I could only imagine like conference. You know, throughout the whole year, all the support everybody gets. What's impressed you about RJ since seeing him come in? You know, his motor, you know, like you said, every day, day in and day out, you just, you always hear him on the court, you know, you always like feel him going for rebounds, stuff like that. And if you're down, like, he's like one of the guys, you know, like he's going to help you, help lift you up, you know, get back to you on your feet. You kind of downplayed that role as far as him, you know, being that guy that's kind of bringing everybody together a little bit. But, you know, from what you've seen from him in, in that regard, it's a little more than kind of what he was kind of – saying as far as the role he's playing as far as being that kind of guy to kind of get everybody together. Yes sir, for sure. You know, coming in as a leader, you know, you've, you've been to the tournament, you've seen like all the work, what you got to do to get there, you know, I'm just here to listen, you know, trying to follow up, get, get to the NCAA tournament again. What kind of things is this team that with so many newcomers to, to kind of build that chemistry? Is, it, is that all just what happens on the court? You got to do things off the court kind of? Yeah, we do, do things, about we to, do things to, off the court, you know, 
really most of the guys, like every weekend, we usually watch football games now that it's coming back on college and NFL. So, you know, the team bond is there, the chemistry is there. I won't got no problems with that. When you look at this team, what do you see as your role? What, what do you want to provide for this team? Main thing I want to provide is defense, you know, coming out, guarding the best player on the opposite team, you know, holding them to, you know, whatever I want them to. And then, yeah, that's really it for real. Another guy that came in this offseason, Tyron Lawrence, played a lot of SEC basketball. How helpful do you feel like he's been helping you kind of learn and see? Like, he's you real help. helpful. He's also left-handed as me, as well as me. So, you know, I could take a couple notes from him as well. Since he's been in the SEC, like, he knows how physical it is, like, what to expect, what not to expect. So, you know, it's a good guy to have. Coming from the back to the SEC, what's been the biggest uh, adjustment uh, in terms of physicality, just going up against your new teammates? I say, like, we practice, we get, like, a lot of bumps, a lot of pushes, and, like, I be, sometimes I complain saying, like, foul, foul, but they're like, nah, like, you don't get this in the SEC. <laughs> like, you know, I'm like, okay, so let me prepare myself, you know, not uh, be a punk, you know, fight through the contact. Coming out of high school was, uh, maybe you didn't have the, you know, the Power Five offers that you wanted, but was it always a, a goal of yours to eventually end up at a Power Conference school? Yeah, for sure. You know, growing up, I used to play soccer, so basketball was a late transition for me. But once that was like what I wanted to do, goals to you know play in the NBA and Power Five. So coming out of high school, not having that offer, the offers, you know, it kind of made me think like, damn. Well, it's not for me, but then repetition, grind, and work, you know, it all pays off at the end of the day. How old were you when you really started focusing on basketball? Freshman year of high school, like 14, 15, something like that. Yeah. What other sports did you play growing up? Soccer, that was really my main sport. I played flag football. Okay. You mentioned, you mentioned soccer. Did you ever at one time think that might be your sport? Was that yeah, going to be that, something you were going to do? You know, my mom's from Germany, so you okay. know, yeah, that's, that's, right. that's right. what I had growing up, watching soccer every day, every weekend with her. You know, that's what I wanted to do, be a professional <laughs> soccer player, but things changed, you know. Yeah. So what was her reaction when you said you told you to focus on basketball at first, soccer? At first, she was like a little like, damn, all this time. And then, you know, <laughs> I'm her son at the end of the day, so she supports me whatever decision I make. Because I imagine it's one of those things where most parents and kids that age are going to different tournaments and playing different yeah, stuff. She's the one yeah, that's packing she, you up in the car. and Yes, sir. She was there every me. game, every yeah. practice, there to drop me off, there to pick me up. You know, she's like my number one supporter for sure. Sweet. Yeah. Cool. Well, when we were talking to RJ, he talked about Silas's leadership and what he's shown. What, what has stood out to you about how Silas has led this team so far? Yeah, you know, he's a sophomore too. He's in my class and coming in, I didn't expect him, you know, to be like one of the main voices on the team. But to hear that, you know, it kind of like brought me out of my shell a little bit too. Because before, like, I was usually like quiet, you know, in the back of the lines. But now, like, hearing from him, you know, that like gave me a little more confidence in myself. Was he somebody that was reaching out to you saying, hey, man, you know, you should give Georgia a shot? Yeah, he, he was there on my visit too, but really it was uh, Noah Thomason from last year. He, he called me and my pops, you know, on my visit, telling me things like good things and bad things about the school. So, yeah. We have time for one more question? Or not? Go ahead. This is uh, probably the highest expectations Georgia basketball team has in a while. Uh, like I said before, it's been a while since you guys were in the tournament. Made the, uh, a deep run in the NIT last um, spring. How much... Uh, do you think about making the NCAA tournament? Obviously, you weren't able to with Mount St. Mary's, but uh, just watching March, I'm sure you've just seen the Cinderella run. So, how excited are you at the possibility of playing in March? I mean, yeah, it's, it's really exciting, you know, but we don't really think on that. We think about the present, you know, our term for the, for the year is growth. And, you know, day in and day out, we just got to put the work in and grow to see the end results, which will be the NCAA tournament. Thank you. Thank you.